Hello, I'm Chris Shuttle, Certified Wound Care and Hyperbaric Specialist. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to apply the VAC Therapy System dressing on a foot wound using the bridge technique. For wounds on the plantar surface or the heel of the foot, it's sometimes beneficial to apply the dressing in a way that positions the tubing and the sensor track pad on the dorsum of the foot away from the wound. This bridging technique helps to minimize the chance of creating additional pressure points. Let's see how to do it. Begin by assessing the wound size and type and prepare the wound bed according to institutional protocols. Next, cut the dressing to fit the size and shape of the wound. Make sure it's not placed over intact skin. You may want to place the vac drape and use the picture frame technique around the entire peri wound area to minimize the exposure to intact skin. Gently place the vac granulifoam dressing into the wound. Then cut one thin strip of vac drape to secure the vac granulifoam. This will hold the foam into place while you address the bridge dressing on the anterior portion of the foot. To protect intact skin from direct contact with the foam, cut a piece of vac drape to accommodate the entire length from the wound site to the anterior region of the foot where the sensor track pad will be placed. Peel back one side of layer one and place it adhesive side down over the intact skin. Then remove the remaining side of layer one, the green striped stabilization layer two, and the perforated blue handling tabs. Cut another piece of foam in the shape of a letter C. Place a C-shaped piece of foam around the foot, extending from the wound to the lateral aspect, and ensure that it contacts the foam dressing in the wound. Apply the vac drape over the foam and extend it to the anterior aspect of the foot, covering both the wound and the C-shaped piece of foam to obtain a seal. Pinch the drape and cut a 2.5 centimeter hole on the anterior aspect, then apply the sensor track pad. Next, remove the backing layers one and two from the sensor track pad. Place the pad opening directly over the hole, then pull the blue tab to remove the stabilization layer. Always count the total number of pieces of foam used in the wound. Document the foam quantity and dressing change date or foam quality label if available in the patient's chart. Connect the sensor track pad tubing to the canister tubing. Ensure the clamps are open. Turn on the power to the VAC therapy unit and set the system to the physician prescribed settings to initiate the therapy. So, as you can see, the VAC bridging technique is a good option for patients with wounds on the plantar surface or heel of the foot or other weight bearing areas where you're trying to minimize the chance of creating additional pressure points. Another option to make the dressing application easier is to order the VAC granulifoam bridge dressing, which has an integrated bridge allowing the sensor track pad to be placed away from the wound site. Thanks for watching.